Hello, my name is Paul and together with my partner Anthony and our dog Dexter, we've just sold our house three weeks before lockdown. I'm awaiting for a brand new 57 foot narrowboat to be built by Bickerstaff Boats. I'm so excited, please join us on our journey as we clear all the clutter from our lives and start this brand new adventure. We're back here at Stolfer St. Helens, waiting to meet the removal men. We're going to move all our stuff back into the house that we're living in. It's like moving house three times in seven days. So we've just been to pick up a second-hand fridge freezer for the house that we're staying in for a few weeks while the boat is being built. We need a washing machine as well. We couldn't take the appliances from the last house because they're all integrated, but it's not worth buying new either, just for all eight weeks, nine weeks. So we're going around buying second-hand stuff and saving quite a lot of money. We're just about to drop the fridge freezer off now at the house that we're staying in. Wow, it's been a stressful few days unpacking boxes. I can't believe how much rubbish we still have and how many personal belongings we need to get rid of. There is a part that's a five minute walk from the house, which is nice. The first night we didn't sleep, but uh, dogs barking all night, but hopefully it's just a one off. We did sleep a lot better last night. It was very quiet. In fact, quieter than where we used to live. Well, just <laughs> Just swapped one mess for a whole lot more. Uh, this is the lounge of the house we're moving into that we didn't think needed a lot doing to it. To be fair, there used to be a TV and a sound bar in that wall, so I've ripped the brackets out. And that was an old gas fire. It's pretty horrific, horrendous. And uh, that light's going. So yeah, this is where we're living for the next eight weeks, but I will be doing a lot of painting and decorating and just freshening the place up really. Looking forward to seeing the end results. I'll take you on a tour actually. So that's the lounge. It's got a downstairs bathroom and also a little ensuite bathroom. Kitchen's quite nice. Conservatory, little garden. Ignore the mess. We only moved in about three days ago and we're busy painting, decorating, unpacking. Oh, right Dexter Dog's not for moving, so I've covered him up in his blanket so he doesn't get covered in paint. Are you comfy there, lad? I know something, I'm sick of seeing paint, I'm sick of seeing masking tape, I'm sick of sanding down walls but it will all be worth it in the end. I'm not sure how much filming I'll be able to do this week, but I'll do as much as I can while we're painting and renovating this house that we're hoping to sell when we move out onto the boat or even possibly let it out. So here I am, paint tray in hand, well, paint tray on floor. Here I am painting and decorating again. So I'm not so sure whether I like this color or not. I didn't at first, but now I think I do. Look a bit further back. Not quite dry yet. What do we think of this colour? Doesn't look anything like it does on the tin. Yeah, someone's relaxed in the new house. Out in the garden. We've been stuck in the queue for the household rubbish for 15 minutes. I think we'll be at least another 15 minutes. We're just getting rid of all the stuff. There's that word again, stuff. I'm just getting rid of all the belongings from the house that we no longer need and we can't fit onto the boat anyway. I'm trying to get the house cleared out. What fun on a Sunday. Well, 35 minutes later, and we're at the front of the queue, hurrah. Really impressive buildings. I think I'm going to do some research and look into these mills. Well, we're not big fans of this place really when it comes to eating um, and we've been trying to be healthy for the past few months. But Anthony's car's in for a service, so we're now parked outside. Well, we've parked up 
at Holford's Francis Car Service and we're now outside McDonald's trying to get something to eat. You're not allowed to go in with no car. We could walk around and pretend we've got a car, but we look like right idiots. So we are sat outside seeing if we can do just eat and get it delivered to our table. We've ended up on a bit of a detour looking for the canal, but this is the old Eckersley's Mill. Such a shame that it's in this condition. See, these are the old mills by Wigan Pier. I know this one on the left is Eckersley's Mill. What a real shame. by Henners Lock 86. Love these cottages at the foot of the mills. So, you know we're all laughing at my mum when she came up with the name for our boat, Morning Glory, because we want to call the boat Morning Star. We were all laughing at my mum, but apologies to my mum because we were going for a walk along the canal and she saw this plant and said that's called a Morning Glory. And I said, mum, there's no plant called Morning Glory. Anyway, she sent me the picture and this is Morning Glory. And even more impressive than that, we found this super yacht. It's nine million pounds. It's for sale if you want to buy it, or it was for sale when I looked on the internet, and it's called Morning Glory. Maybe we should change the name of our boat. What do you think? In the week, we decided to have a ride out to Lim. It's one of our favourite places and we wanted to surprise our friends, Colin and Debbie. We knew from their Facebook feed and from uh, the pictures that were sending us that they'd moored up in Lim for a couple of nights and uh, we just surprised them, turned up and actually found them in the village centre. They were really surprised to see us and they very kindly invited us to have a look at their boat. It's a 57 foot brand new build from Bickerstaff and they've only been on the water since February. You may have seen them on one of the earlier vlogs, it's when we did the Rufford branch with Mark and Zach. And looking aboard the boat we were just amazed again and couldn't wait to get ours. Well our boat build continues and we are now counting down the weeks till our boat is complete. We think we're aiming for September time, I don't want to say that in case Kev's listening. Anyway, Kev sent us these pictures, the guys have been working really hard down at Bigger Staff Boats and we're so excited.
cheeky squeamish look away now. I think I've just stood on a screw. Yes, yes. <laughs> what a wally. So I stepped off the step ladder, nothing on my feet, onto this screw. Ow. It's like a scene from Dexter. Well, I think it was worth the blood, sweat and tears. One wardrobe made from a piece of off-cut wood and a rail, total cost, £9. Hooray, all finished for another day. We've got friends moving in with us today and uh, with their dog as well. So that should be fun. Four adults, two dogs in a little two bedroomed house. A bit like camping, but it will get us used to living in a small space like the narrowboat. We're having so many problems with Final Cut Pro. We've tried to upload the video about nine or 10 times and it keeps crashing. I've deleted the app, I've deleted the files reinstalled it still no joy it's like someone's working against us but uh, i will persist even if it means downloading a different software program just so we can do these videos a bit gutted if we can't use final cut pro because i bought some um extra features that you could add to final cut pro extra software that will let you add titles and maps that kind of thing but uh, we shall keep persisting and hopefully get this video out to you Hello, Dexter Dog. Hello. You settled in quick, haven't you? Well, you wouldn't believe it was July. I've got my coat on. We've just passed some narrow boats who've got the fires lit. And I'm on a walk with my mum and dad going from Bursco Wharf along the canal up towards the Rufford branch of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. It's been so nice to get out of the house and from doing all a break from doing all the painting and decorating. If you watched one of our early videos in May, you'll see that I did a collaboration along with Anna Marie on their channel, Narrowboat Experience. I attempted to paint this duckling drawing and I was really pleased with the results and I got some really nice feedback from people. I'll leave a link below to Kath and Anna Marie's channel. I wanted to give a big shout out to Jim and Duncan from Salt Lake City who very kindly bought my original artwork of the ducklings and they have put it up on their wall and sent these pictures. It's fabulous, thank you. And as you can see, Anna Marie's work is on the wall too and really nice that they added our photographs. Big fans, big thank you. 
We just want to say a really big thank you. I really do mean that to our patrons. And also thank you for watching. If you've not already subscribed, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit the bell notifications, and you'll be the first to see our latest videos. Please follow us on our journey. Oh, and keep those comments coming. We love getting the comments and we try to reply to every single one of them.